guys, welcome back. My name is Alia for you and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new here, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have a fun one and it's going to be comparing these two eyeshadow palettes. Obviously, you probably saw from the title. So I have the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. This one right goes for $65. And this is just what this palette looks like. But I had actually picked this one out first because Brian was like, I'm taking you to Ulta, pick out two palettes, a high-end eyeshadow palette and a low and a low end and a drugstore eyeshadow palette. And I want you to compare them on your channel. I, I was like, oh okay but i guess with stimulus checks and <laughs> income tax everybody was like buying up the makeup at our sephora and our and our ulta so like all the high-end eyeshadow palettes that i originally wanted were out and so i was like okay well i'll pick a low i was like oh, why do i keep saying low end i'll pick a drugstore palette here and then he was like, I'll take you to Sephora at the mall. And I was like, okay, fine, no problem. So that's why I ended up getting the Huda Beauty one because this is probably like the only eyeshadow palette they had in our Sephora that I've wanted since it came out outside of the Dominique Cosmetics one. Because when I tell you the shelves were empty of high-end eyeshadow palettes, they were empty. And I just happened to duck down into the back of the Huda Beauty section and seen this. And I was like, okay, that's it. Guess that's the one I'm supposed to get. But it actually ended up working out perfectly because these are super duper similar. Hmm? Hmm? Super similar. So I was like, okay, okay. We are going to compare these eyeshadow palettes. This is the Makeup Revolution Forever Limitless Allure palette. And then, like I said, the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. This one is 65 and this one is 25 and you get a whole lot more in this $25 one. So is this essentially like super affordable? No, but if you're not able to afford the new nudes palette, I was hoping this would be a good dupe for those of you who can't afford the new nudes palette and you could just spend, save up 25 bucks and get a lot more eyeshadows. Like I said, I can already tell that they're not perfectly matching, but they are very similar. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with priming our eyes. And I'm just using my CoverGirl Lip Lock Primer and I was like, ooh, I should use two different primers. But I was like, Allie, that defeats the entire purpose because you're trying to compare the quality and the colors. So let's go ahead and blend these out. Okay, so let's see. So obviously you guys know that I love to set down my base. So we're actually gonna go into the, uh, the, new, the new Nudes palette and use and use the shade bare right here to set down my right eye. So now we are going in to the Revolution Makeup Revolution palette and we're gonna take the shade Lure right here and set down the left eye. Those are actually a really good match for a cream shade. I mean. It's only a cream shade, so it's not that hard to match, but still, nonetheless. Okay, so I want to take Teddy, but I can't tell if Charm or Golden is the best fit. Probably Charm. Mm. Actually, let's use Golden. Okay, so I'm using the large eyeshadow brush from Profusion. And I'm taking Teddy. Ooh, that's, that is powdery. Okay, so that is what Teddy looks like. And it's actually a lot deeper than what it looks, looks like in the pan. So this might work out perfectly. Okay, so now I'm going to take, where to go? Golden from the Profusion Profusion from the Makeup Revolution palette. This one is not as powdery as the Huda Beauty one. Okay, so I wanna go ahead. This one is so powdery though. 
Okay, so I wanna go ahead and swatch. So I'm taking, I'm taking Teddy and we will swatch that one first. So that is Teddy out of Huda Beauty. And then this is Golden out of Makeup Revolution. So those are pretty similar. And that's like a really good shade match because on the eye, they don't look like that. They look almost exactly the same. So that's awesome. So the only thing that I'm noticing is that there's more pinks in here than there is in this one. So this one is truly mostly like nudes and neutrals. This one's truly like nudes and neutrals and this one has a lot more deeper like pinks and purples. It's like it has the pink and purple, like this pink and purple is in this palette, only they're shimmers instead of mattes. Okay, I'm gonna take raw right here and start buffing that in. This is, this palette is so powdery. Like, okay, just for example, like this one is just so powdery. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead, sorry, trying to keep the brushes separate so I don't actually use the wrong one on the wrong guy. Okay, so to me, raw looks a lot like charm right here. So that's what I'm gonna use on my left eye. And see, there's not even nearly as much powder and kickback and fallout on this one. These looks are looking pretty similar. So now let's go ahead and swatch those two shades that we just used right by each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Charm and then raw. So this one's Profusion and then this one's Huda Beauty. Again, really good shade matches. The only thing that I'm seeing is like each Huda Beauty one has a bit more pigment and a deeper undertone than the Profusion ones, which isn't bad. I mean, still not w worth the $40 difference, <laughs> but it's kind of fun to see it come out. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna take Lust from this one, from the Makeup Revolution one, and then use Daydream in the Huda Beauty one. Like those are probably the most similar to me. So I'm using my finger as well. So we're using the Lust out of the Makeup Revolution. Just applying it to the center. And now, like I said, I'm gonna take Daydream from, now that I'm looking at that in the light, it may not even be similar. But we're gonna have to go with it, Daydream. Okay, so that's way too pink. So I'm gonna try Crave and overlay it. I just dug my nose into it. Now it's too golden. Okay, okay, we're gonna fix this, guys. Okay, so we're gonna try to make this work because now this side's a little bit too golden for this side. So maybe I'll lightly take a trap and lightly tap it over. There we go, that made it perfectly match. Okay, so it's not terrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back to do the lower lash line and do some more swatches of shades that look similar. All right, you guys, the rest of the makeup is done. It's been forever, y'all don't know that though. And now we are gonna go ahead and get back in with working on the eyes. And I actually need these brushes because, see, something told me, Ali, don't put them up. And I still put the brushes up. So I wanna do something, first of all, let me go ahead and apply the nude eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna actually take the shade Idol, and it's just like a shimmer shade, and I'm gonna push push that right up against the lid on my lower lash line on my left eye. Okay, and so then for our right eye, which is the Huda Beauty side, I'm going to take, why did I think that there was a purple in here? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take Kinky right here. Okay, so then we are gonna go ahead and apply mascara, and this lash is lifting. Okay, so for the inner corner, I'm actually just gonna use the highlighting palette I use, just because there's not a similar shade to use for the inner corner, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade here. Or no, let's do this one. 
All right, you guys, so we are done with the eyes. And if you ask me, it looks pretty darn good to be two different palettes, one affordable, one high end. So let's go ahead and do some swatches just to see. So I swatched, um, let's swatch some more similar shades. So in this one, let me clear this off real quick because there's so much going on. So now we are going to go ahead and get into the swatches and I'm super excited because now <laughs> room first of all in front of me. You guys, I can really hold these up. Okay, so anyways, you guys, these are so beautiful, so similar. And the quality of both of them is really good. And I actually, using them, I like the Makeup Revolution one a little bit more because this one had a lot of kickback, a lot of fallout. Now, these shimmer pressed pearl shades, those, first of all, both had a glitter fallout. I had fallout on both eyes from the glitter but let's go ahead and swatch them so i'm going to swatch all of it okay so i'm taking crave fantasy daydream and charmed and these are going to be all of like the, the pearl type shade so crave fantasy daydream and charmed so those are actually really pretty and those are all of the huda beauty ones and so now we are gonna go ahead and take the ones out of the Makeup Revolution palette, which are Lust, Attract, and Appeal. So obviously I already knew the Appeal one wasn't going to match any of them. So Lust, Attract, wow. Those match perfectly. And Appeal, oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously I should have used a different shade in the center because we actually have two dupes. So we have these two, which is, so this is, um, so this one is Attract out of the Makeup Revolution one, and this one is Charmed. So those two are dupe. And then the pink ones, so this one is Fantasy, so Fantasy is actually a pretty good dupe for Appeal. This one just has more of like a bronzy gold to it, but not too bad. I mean, you're still getting two out of the four matches. And honestly, whenever I mixed these two right here, so whenever I mixed Lust and Attract from the Makeup Revolution palette, you kind of end up with Crave. So, I mean, it's not bad because you can mix and match and make them all match. So that's all of those now there's a there's not really any glitters in the makeup revolution one so i'm not going to swatch the glitters but they do have these two shades right here so there's kinky and then there's idol so let me see it's a really big palette Okay, so you see these two right here, Kinky. Kinky and the Huda Beauty one, which is this purple one, and then Idol right here. So those are going to be the next two that we swatched, and those are actually the two that I used on my lower lash line. So this one is Kinky, and this one is Idol. Wow, those are exactly, oh my gosh, how insane. Those are exactly the same. So that are those two. Again, this one is Kinky and this one is Idle. So obviously this one has a bit more pigment, but nonetheless, the undertones, the shade, and then like even the underlying color in it, the duochrome effect is exactly the same. Okay, so I showed you guys the ones that we used throughout the video. Now two that I really wanted to try out are Tease and Show. So this one's Tease and this one's Show. So Tease out of Huda Beauty. I want to just try them just because they look pretty similar. Tease and then I'm taking Show. Okay, so Tease and Show. Yeah, those two aren't the same at all. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, but let's also try out Lace right here. So Lace and then let's try Ego. So Lace and Ego. My hands are all wet. 
So this one's lace. So again, this one has like a more pink and this one is more purpley gray stone. But I'm sure you could make it work just by mixing some shades together. So again, there's a lot of similarities in it, these palettes. For instance, I am now going to take Flash out of the Makeup Revolution one. And let's try Play. Oh, I can already tell just by looking at my finger, they're a little bit different. So Play is, a, Flash is a little bit darker than Play. But still, not bad, you guys. Like, for what all your... You know what? Let me try Spirit next to play out of here. So, I'm going to take Spirit and Shine to see if either one of those actually match with play. So, here's... So, this one's play. Here's Spirit. Can't even see it. Here's Shine. Yeah, that's just too peachy pinky. I mean... This one's just a cream shade, basically. So there's that. But yeah, you guys, I mean, honestly, I would still just go with the Makeup Revolution one. Like I said, they're similar enough to where you don't need both. I'm going to keep both just because I've always wanted this. And also, this one has shades that this one doesn't. Like this one, I like it because it has more toned down shimmers. So you don't have to use something super metallic or a glitter to get that pop of color that you need, like maybe like that to get that pop of shimmer that you may need in the center. This one, this one doesn't have that, but this one does. So this one has, it doesn't have your glitters, but it does have a lot of shimmers, which I like about it. And also a lot more crease shades and blending shades and creams and stuff like that. So I feel like this one would work with a lot more skin tones and than this one. Like I feel like you can only do so many looks with this on so many different skin tones unless you're really, really piling on these shades. But again, this one's really pretty. I love to have it. But if you cannot afford both, just go with the ref just go with the Revolution Allure palette. Super good, perfect dupe. You guys saw there's a lot of shades out of here that are duped for each other and even shades that you can out of here that you can make work for shades in here. So yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I actually really enjoyed making this video. It's gonna be, require a lot of editing because there's a lot of different clips since I record on a phone. But yeah, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on my in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.